Well, the city of Victoria, as we have told you, is looking at uh, various things right now. Bylaws to move drug, drug addicts and people with mental illness off Pandora Avenue. But a small nonprofit group says it already has a solution. Foundation House helps about 30 men at a time break the cycle of addiction. They believe their success rate is four times better than the provincial average, and they say with a little community support, Foundation House can expand its reach. And news reporter Mary Beth Burton has the story. And then Wilkinson Road all day tomorrow. Anthony, what's your last name? A jail drug addict makes a call for help to Foundation House. There are three houses, in fact, for various stages of recovery with about 10 men per home. This is the first house or the processing place. This program saved my life. Mark Hand had twice relapsed after trying provincial rehab programs. He went from Foundation House addict to an educated full-time counselor here. I had to change everything about the style of life I was living, and that went right down to making my bed every morning, brushing my teeth. Structure is critical at Foundation House. Every addict has a house chore, including keeping their rooms tidy, and they must work, volunteer, or go to school. If the chores aren't done, there's a three strikes you're out policy, and clients must leave the facility for at least three days. It can be tough to live here but it's worth it. Support, that's where staff says Foundation House separates itself from other treatment facilities that are typically run for 30 to 90 day programs. You get out of the detox, you don't have the money, you don't have the contacts, you don't have the time in your recovery yet to be able to make that leap over that huge mountain of wreckage that you've, you've amassed over the years. Most Foundation House clients stay one to three years. For 20 years, alcohol and drugs left Dave Souter homeless and suicidal. Now he's ready to leave Foundation House for good, three years sober. Basically, I pulled back from society, from people. Now I'm getting more integrated and, in, you know, talking with people more, more sociable. Uh, I go to Camosun, and that I find that education does wonders too. So. What are you studying? Uh, environmental technology. Program director David Mitchell was 105 pounds and a homeless heroin addict when he reached out for help. He says Foundation House, with its wounded healers, has a 17% success rate, and Mitchell believes the provincial success rate is 3 to 5%. This is one of two rental properties that Foundation House is operating. They also have a house that they were able to purchase through donations, but they're looking to expand to at least one more property. Clients must be 72 hours sober to come to the first stage house. It's that entry level of sobriety, another 10 beds that Foundation House wants to add to its services. And they say their clients make great neighbors. These men are not active, actively in their addiction, they're actively in their recovery. And w if one leaves because he's not ready or he wants to go back on drugs, this is the last place they're going to come back to is this neighborhood. There's nothing here for them. There's nobody going to give them drugs. Contact Foundation House to make a donation or if you have a five to six bedroom home to lease.